All right, so we got Watch Dogs 2 here. I've never played this game before. This is a completely blind playthrough. I've never even played the first one before. Uh, so this hacking concept is completely new to me. Um, so I'm just gonna jump in, give it a shot, and come off with the journey. San Francisco. Land of dreams. Consider this your 10 second initiation retro. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to bypass Bloom security doors and get inside. Then find and erase your personal CTOS profile. Whatever they have on me, it's all bullshit. And I'm sick of getting harassed for it. All the more reason for a purge. We'll be watching. Try to keep up. By the way, we put this playlist together to set the mood. Hope you like it. So I'm going to try not to uh, talk too much now. I don't want to ruin the experience for you guys. Uh, but I will be uh, trying to word out my thoughts for you as I try to figure out this game. Again, I've never played the first one, so this is uh, completely new to me. Uh, I do know that the whole game basically takes place within your cell phone. That's basically the main menu of the game anyways. So here we can uh, kind of connect to their cell phone, take their money. Let's uh, see if we can knock them out here. <laughs> With a yo-yo. Beauty. Alright. So... I know this game basically center around, centers around a kind of a central operating system. So essentially a computer that controls everything and everyone. Um, so I'm assuming through my cell phone I can kind of take advantage of that and control everyone. Uh, that's how I can kind of control, you know, traffic lights, uh, people's cell phones, cars, so on. Um, anyways, that's how it was in the first game. So let's play around with this here. Yo, yo. <laughs> I don't, what is that? I guess it's a billiards ball on a string. So I can actually equip the stun gun. Let's give that a shot. I, I don't know if he's too far though. Right, let's give this a shot. Boom. Botnet recharge. So as far as I know, a botnet is kind of the main resource in this game. So as you hack things, your botnet actually um, depletes. So you can charge it by kind of hooking up to other people's cell phones and taking their resources. So I believe that's in the bottom right corner there. So as that light blue uh, turns to white, that means I'm running out of resources. So we'll keep a close eye on that. Alrighty. So electronic door, so we gotta hack this. So I guess we'll follow this red line. Ah, hopefully it's not a puzzle. All right. So far so good. All of five minutes in. All righty. So as you saw there, I guess I can, um, use my cell phone to not only hook up to other people's cell phones but also doors so i guess that's open and close i'm not sure what those other buttons do but we'll figure that out eventually you're wasting your time he's not in gotcha so that's him He's got a gun. Is that a problem? Well, problems are why you keep me around, right? Time him. I'm curious. Too late. He's in. Already? Salt spray down on them. I have no idea. Nuh-uh. No synonyms either. Give me a real answer. I'm just not that into aliens or video games. It's 
not just any alien. It's oh, come on. Anyone else having a problem with their phone? Oh god! Oh god! Ah! 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 Who is he? It's retro. The home domain awareness hacker? That retro? Yes. We told you that already. Yeah, I never listened. So that billiards ball is highly unrealistic, but uh, that's okay. We'll roll with it. All right, so we need to find the access key to unlock this. Um, so I guess that's it right there. All right, so let's hack into this camera here. So let's see if we can get close to this. All right, so hacking the computer gives us that key. Beauty. Like that. Uh, as you guys see right here, this says uh, CTOS. So I believe that is Central Operating System. And Bloom is that company that created that. So that is essentially, I guess you can call it the main enemy of the first game. And I believe CTOS 2.0 will actually be kind of that main antagonist, if you want to call it that, of this game. It's kind of like the updated version. All right, so net hack. When you see me go into this mode, that's net hack. So that's kind of how you see everything around you that you can hack. It's a cool little device. So we need to shut down the server tower. So that's, uh, that's up there. So what's his deal? He was raised in Oakland, but was born in. <laughs> his deal is he's been hanging around the DeadSec IRC and he's got cred. Figured we'd give him a test drive. On the hardest difficulty, nobody's been able to delete their CTOS profile before. I want to see if he's smart, stubborn, or both. So there you see me uh, charging up that botnet. I'm actually really excited to see what kind of skills you get in this game. I'm assuming you're not gonna start the game with everything. That's, that'd be too easy. Same Batman. Alright. So let's try to take this guy out. Is our yo yo? Ah, oh, no, 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 no. Uh, it's all right. We're good. We're good. Boom. All right. Let's try to hack this. Oh no. It's all right. It's our first time playing. Doesn't have to be super smooth. Getting to cover. Let's get my yo-yo. So the shooting mechanics are, uh, I don't know, I guess it's pretty similar to like Grand Theft Auto. Uh, in that I mean it's kind of sucky. That's all good. He's done this before. CTOS tagged him as the prime suspect in a high-tech burglary, so... He's done time? Community service, not enough evidence. Just the word of CTOS's predictive algorithms. But once in the system, always in the system. Holy shit! <laughs> he went for it. You won't have much time before the backups kick in. Got an operative down! Ah, come on. Come on. Uh, so as far as I'm aware, this game is about the hacker group DeadSec. I think they made an appearance in the first game. Um, so I'm assuming this is sort of that initiation of Marcus into DeadSec. 
So I, I'm assuming this is the only playable character. This is not the guy from the first game. The first guy was Aiden, I believe. Aiden. And that took place in Chicago, where this is San Francisco. He's going in the hot aisle. It's at least 120 degrees in there. Give the man props. He's going the mile. Nobody's gotten that far. This is like the secret cow level. That's Diablo reference for you. Woo, I got you. Slide that by me. Check the area. So hopefully my voice isn't too loud for you guys. I'm playing with this new uh, blue game, so it's pretty sensitive. I just kind of flew around with it. Hope they're not blowing your job. Do we have eyes on the target? Keep your eyes open. Start a sweep. So, anyways, around that stun gun and my uh, my uh, yo-yo, I'm gonna try and not kill people in this game. I figure the point of this is to hack, so kind of ruins it by killing people. I'll try to stick with that. U.S. database. Okay. So it's locked. We got a puzzle here. All right, so this is one of those pipe, pipe dream puzzles that you see in like Fallout. All right, yeah, these are fun. There we go, nice and simple. Now we can use the computer. Boom. What the fuck? Why is my threat so high? Uh, press A. Alright, so if I'm not mistaken, this, this is part, bullshit. just kind of looking at his profile, uh, CTOS actually has a profile on everybody. It's kind of like a, an advanced Big Brother type scenario. So I guess this mission's about Mark is actually going in to delete his own profile. Kind of make him a ghost in the system, so to speak. Traffic stuff. Badass. Or I could just delete that shit. Gonna drop a little back door into the system so I can get back inside later. Sorry, Bloom. We've got unfinished business. He's heading out. Bag him. Yeah. Ethan's out cold. We got an intruder. Lock down the exit and send someone to check. 
Alright, so you can hack environmental objects. Alright, so. Alright, so we can attract people to different objects and then basically blow it up on them. Now I said I wouldn't kill people, doesn't mean uh, I want a box to kill people. Can you catch that? There we go. Just like that. Alright, so now I guess it's a typical escape mission. Oh, no. Don't see anyone. Moving on. Alright, we gotta go down. Set some little traps behind us. Oh no. I think he got through. Let's close it up here. So I'm just gonna apologize now if I keep dying. Like I said, I'm completely new to this game, so Let's try going through here. Alright, maybe not. Yeah, there's different play styles that you can do in this game. Um, you can be aggressive and kind of just shoot up everybody you see, or you can be a ghost, kind of let your um, your little RC devices do the hacking uh, and infiltration for you. So if you guys want to see a specific play style, just let me know. Um, but for the most part, I'm definitely gonna try to be more aggressive. I'd rather not shoot up everyone. I see. There we go. Enforcement. Run, Marcus, run. Hold it right there. Help him. Where the fuck am I going? Josh. Okay. Okay. You bloom. In 2013, Chicago realized the promise of smart cities with CTOS, a citywide operating system merging big data with surveillance, security, and transit programs. With a few hundred lines of code, hackers were able to hijack its central servers and cripple the entire grid. Many believed the attack would be a killing blow for smart city development. They were wrong. Coordinated from the heart of Silicon Valley, CTOS 2.0 has been implemented across the United States, ushering in the Internet of Things. 6.4 billion connected devices now serve as collection points, mapping and recording our daily routines, making a more secure and more invasive system. But who else is listening? Big Brother no longer works alone. Thousands of little brothers monitor and aggregate your every move building a complete digital profile of you to be bought, sold, or stolen in an instant. Toys study your children, reporting their play habits back to marketers. Appliances, consoles, and home security systems give corporations a window into your private life. Control of your vehicle and mobile device can now be breached remotely by anyone at any time. You may think that you are immune or underestimate the risk, but your digital shadow is already compromised. Insurance companies use algorithms to monitor your life habits and limit or deny coverage. Health providers determine if your cancer is is worth treating. Search results and news feeds are skewed to bias mood and influence your vote, engineering social uprisings on a massive scale. You are now less valuable than the data you produce. Data you produce. This is the new reality. Going dark is no longer an option. With threats to personal freedom rising, many are stepping forward. Whistleblowers, activists, and hackers have drawn their battle lines, putting the establishment on watch. But are they threats themselves, or have they become freedom's last line of defense? Freedom's last line of defense. So 
So? Am I in? Welcome to Dead Sec. I'm Satara. This sweetheart is Josh, a.k.a. Hot Sauce. Yo, you're Hot Sauce? Yeah, man, I loved your frat house hat. Real talk. Thanks. This weirdo's wrench. The needs of the many. And this Casanova is Horatio. What's up, brother? What's up, man? It's the crew, huh? Took y'all long enough to come get me. Shit. You saw Bloom's bullshit. CTOS isn't just regulating infrastructure. The amount of personal data that thing is collecting is fucking mind-blowing. Yeah. It's Big Brother and Little Brother all rolled up into one. Huh? Sees everything you do and tells on you. Thank you, Josh. So what's the fix? Sledgehammers and fire. No! Sledgehammers on fire. <laughs> All of that data in one place means they can reject your fucking application before you click on it. <laughs> Congratulations, you have been free rejected for our credit card. Or your house, or your insurance. That's not even the worst case scenario. All that data in the hands of the government? They'll arrest you for shit before you even do it. Yeah, I've been there. Now I fucking know why. Man, fuck it! Fuck it, man. We're hackers. We we out think, we out there. I, I say we tear down the fucking wall. Hey, show everyone what what Bloom's up to, man. Show show the world that their personal data is being used to rob them of their fucking freedoms. Fuck. I installed a back door, so all we gotta do is walk right through. Uh, hold on. You what? You installed a back door, so all we have to do is walk through. Bingo. Hey, man. Do you have the time? Oh, yeah, man. Uh, I got it. I got it. Oh, late for a night run, isn't it? Hey, what, are you, what are you running from the cops? <laughs> Maybe I am one. Hey, hey you, you look familiar. <laughs> Have a good party. Fucking king, this mother. Fuck you, Bloom. I'm gonna go have a goddamn good time. Hello? Whose phone is this? It's your new phone. Where's my phone? In the ocean, where you threw it, I think. I don't remember. I was pretty smashed. Look, meet us at the hackerspace. Where? Check your pics and figure it out. Cause I can never